I was really lucky to grow up in Lechem Alberg, where my dad's from. And we started skiing at an early age, at three years old. And my mum actually always took us to ski school instead of going to kindergarten. So we had amazing opportunities from a really early age to get on snow. Yeah, when I was eight years old, I moved to Australia where my mother's from. And it's right that for 10 years then I was in Australia and there was a quite a long period of time where I didn't get to ski regularly like the other children would in Lech but I was lucky to be able to go back to Lech most years for about five, six weeks. And so I actually really started off piece skiing at a very young age, like from 14, 15 years onwards. My ski instructor friends actually encouraged me to enter my first contest, which was in Slovenia, which I won, and that was super motivating. And from that point onwards, I decided that I wanted to start free riding more. This year was definitely the best year I've had so far competing. So I started the season off with a third place in Chamonix at the Freeride World Tour. In couple I also managed to show a solid run. I came third again, another podium which was fantastic. And then we went over for the next stop to Snowbird USA. And in Snowbird I was really for the first time able to win a Freeride World Tour stop by showing my skiing at its best. I had a really solid run, I skied super fast with a, a big air in the middle section and I felt amazing after that. I felt like all that hard work had really paid off. It was a really, really good feeling for me. So after Snowbird, I was second in the overall ranking. So coming into Verbier, I had a very real chance of the overall Fair World Tour title and it was a battle between me and Nadine Valne. And yeah, I knew that, you know, whoever would be in front would win the overall title. It was very exciting. Ja, mir jetzt gleich am Anfang gesteckt. Das ist natürlich das Schlimmste, was passieren kann, wenn man gleich am Anfang stürzt. Das ist wahnsinnig demotivierend. Und war dann ein bisschen disorientiert und bin dann beim letzten R, es war ein sehr hoher Sprung, da hat es mir dann nochmal reingesteckt, so richtig. Also, ja, ich habe wirklich alles gegeben, muss ich sagen. Ich habe überhaupt nicht zurückhalten. Ich habe mein absolut Bestes gegeben und es ist halt jetzt. Leider nicht so ausgegangen, wie ich das gerne hätte. Das wäre natürlich ein Wahnsinn gewesen, die, die World Tour zum Gewinnen. Für mich zu kommen, Vice für World Tour Champion ist really wirklich awesome. Und ja, ich bin wirklich happy mit dem, ich bin stolz auf mich. Und ich bin auch super motiviert, um es wieder zu geben, und ich werde wirklich einen Titel haben. Und ja, ich würde das Titel gerne haben, also wir werden sehen, wie es weitergeht. Also nach den Finals in Verbier, I went back home to the Alberg. The pressure was off. It was nice to just go skiing with my friends. Good snow. We had some really good runs still, some, some late April pow. And yeah, it's the best thing for me to go skiing with my friends at the Alberg. It's what I love most of all. A couple of seasons ago, I was able to realize my big dream of going to Alaska and it was an incredible experience. I've probably never been as scared in my life. Pushing through that fear and still skiing what you planned and then feeling amazing at the bottom was one of the best things I've experienced as a skier so far. What drives me to be a free rider is the fact that I want to live a passionate life. I want to live a life full of passion and a strong life and free riding allows me to do that. 